Hello and welcome back to the last spell. Um, so I think we are two combats away from finishing this. I think that's what that indicator means. Um, so I'm going to say that this episode will be uh, the rest of Gildenberg. That is if I win, um, I'm hoping to win. And uh, and then we'll we'll save the next zone. I know that these uh, these towns get a lot more like lengthy like they start to feel like campaigns in and of themselves so i'm definitely not going to be doing towns in one session i'd like to do like for the most part an hour per session uh that works for me if it works for you then uh, definitely you know hit that like and subscribe button what the heck are you doing not hitting that button yet my god god i hate self-promotion all right let's let's do it I, i'm pretty sure i spent all my money and we're all good to go so let's just jump into it it has been a couple of days a few days actually since um i played this game but i haven't really stopped thinking about it i love this game a lot uh i think this is like one of my favorite recent tactics games it's just like a very squishy fun and i really enjoy it for uh for a myriad of reasons okay so here's our crawler um we could do a bash i'm just trying to remember how things work here uh we could get in there and get our hands dirty oh, rigoberto what's your deal yeah magic missiles so you want to be hitting hitting foes that have more than 132 health and i don't think that that's going to happen a lot of these lads actually have quite a bit of health well, that's fine. Um, why don't we get you to focus on, like, the left flank, and we'll get uh, we'll get Jesse. I'm still calling her Jesse. Uh, we'll get Jess to focus on the the right flank. Um, I'd like to get that other winged dude. All right, works for me. Oh, you know what? That's actually great. Um, it kind of sucks. But at the same time, I thought I was expecting to kill all of them. So the fact that I didn't actually means that now we can target all of them again. Not killing any of them is much better than killing some of them and, you know, others. So um, you still have one point. So why don't we go ahead and do a sword of Democles and uh, hit another lad. Now, Jess let's go ahead and get you to do something i'm sorry i can't commit to any one way of of saying her name i i feel like these corpses are actually going to help serve us in in a weird way because it like we're we're not gonna like they can't move through them oh no wow oh i was looking at their combat i wasn't looking at their health at all Oh God, that was, that was silly. So now I can't do a stomp. That guy was, was kind of beef. Um, so why don't I just like take a, a few steps back? And of course I, as always, I forgot to cheer Jess, but that's okay. I, I'm hoping that'll be the only time I forget. And you should do, I should do that right away because I think I benefit, like, I think, uh, Robert, Rigoberto, uh, benefits from that as well. Although maybe that's not a good thing. So we should attack with Rigoberto first, then do cheer and then attack with, uh, Jess. Cause the thing is, is like, we really don't want to kill with Rigoberto. All right. So here we go. Um, we've got a new lad over here. He's got cool spells and stuff. Weakening touch chains a portion of damage as well as a potential negative alterations applied by the skill to random adjacent units up to max bounces um our max bounces are seven with propagation chance of 90 percent this seems very good uh kind of just want to use that right now just to see see it work pop 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 Okay, so they have a nice chunk of uh, they've they've lost a lot of resistance, which means they will they're gonna do less damage and they're gonna take more damage. But we're not done there. I want to see some other stuff. Let's try uh, like a lightning strike. This also has a chain of ten, uh, as well as a potential. So we've got three action points left. Does this have chain? No, it's just a normal one hit. So. Uh, Let's let's try a lightning strike. This seems like fun. Pop. 
Oh, oh, that was very nice. These guys over here had some armor, so it didn't go through their armor. No, at least not very much. Um, so we should be able... This does uh, 97 to 151. That is wild range of damage. Let's try and kill a couple of these lads. All right, now we're going to want to... I guess we could do stuff. We, we should have maybe done some stuff with uh, our ranger first. Although it doesn't really matter. Let's move over. Um, I'll have a look at this. That's not a terrible light uh, or um, rain of arrows. But I kind of feel like just doing some power shots first would be a good idea. We'll do a power shot there. Kill that guy. 93. Is a normal attack going to do it? Yes. A normal attack will guaranteed kill that lad. Um, we definitely want to use another power shot on this lad over here. Oh, miss. Oh my god, that's really bad. He's got 70 armor and 340 health. So that's just rough. Um, I can't kill him no matter what. We could punch him for free if I walked up to him. Let's throw some a couple of shots on him. Oh, especially if we miss. Oh my god, okay. How far can he go? He can go pretty far. All right, let's uh, back up a bit. We do have a quick reload, but I'm, you know, no point in using it. Um, our lad here is actually in danger, so let's back him up a bit. And we'll move on to the next turn. Things are getting spicy pretty quickly. So they're breaking the corpses and stuff. I'm not sure why. Um, all right, let's let's go over here. Let's uh, like attack over here first. I definitely want to do a tight volley. So let's do a tight volley here. I suppose what we should do actually is we should um, do their weakening uh, my weakening touch first. So we'll hit this guy over here. It might like propagate. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's pretty nice. Um. I want to save enough for something. This uh, this actually has some like a plus sign. Um, so it's an area of effect spell. No propagation though. Uh, let's do a lightning strike. We'll hit the same guy, so maybe it'll propagate in the same way. No, it did not, but it did do some nice damage. Um. I want to hit this guy in a meaningful way. I guess I'll just do a shadow bolt on him. Hopefully that'll, yeah, take out his armor. That's the important part. Now this guy, uh, let's try and hit this guy with a power shot. Didn't kill him. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to need to back up a little bit because I can't hit him with a normal shot. I guess I'll move over just a little bit. Please, please don't miss. Okay, cool. Perfect. Now, um, what happened to my tight volley? I haven't done a tight volley yet. Or did I? I thought I hit, yeah, I used a power shot. So I'm, I'm kind of curious there. Why don't I have a tight volley? Hmm. All right. You know what we're going to do? is I'm going to move over here in the hopes that we can use a rain of arrows sideways. Yes. And that should hit a number of these guys. Yeah, perfect. Now, there's still a couple left, but they shouldn't be able to do any harm. Now, back over here. So, we're going to attack with Rigoberto, then we're going to cheer. That's the important part. So first we're attacking with Urgoberto. Let's uh, hit a bunch of lads. That guy, not the one that's damaged. That guy, that guy. Anyone with a shield is, is perfect fodder. Actually, you know what? We're gonna need to move over slightly. So again, that guy, that guy. Wish I could hit that guy, but I can't. Um, shield, shield. Out of range. Oh God, okay, move move over one more <laughs> let's see if we can oh can we not requires line of sight my bad all right 
not the shield that guy and <laughs> would really love to uh, hit hit all of the flying dudes all right flying dude this is the last time i promise flying dude um that dude and that dude okay we did kill someone so that means we did we get less um targets on this one but that's okay because we can target the ones that are damaged and that'll be good all right now we cheer um my dude over here he is going to, she's going to come over here and do a, a stomp because that's a, quite a lot of units and it's going to stun some of them then she's going to move over here and we'll do a crush um and why not let's do another stomp that's kind of what i was hoping for is that it was going to stun that guy there so then she'll move back we are out of range of anything bad he's still got a, a an action point left so let's go ahead and take out that guy all right so i'm pretty sure that is everyone um stormy actually still has a move it's good to keep your eye up here because it gives you a very good indication of like if someone's got action points left and being able to oh well we missed but being able to do one more kill can honestly make a big difference so they're removing those corpses those corpses are, are serve me well um let's throw out our weakening touch first We could do another one of those, but I, I do want to do some damage with this with this guy. So we'll do um, we'll do our lightning strike. I can't hit that guy. Oh, weird. Oh, I guess that is maybe um, causing a problem for us. Oh, that propagation was really bad, actually. Okay, so let's uh, maybe good maybe good to not rely on that propagation. So let me see. Uh, I'm seeing four. Four might be the most we can do, but I'm, I'm thinking maybe tight volley would be better. Well, we, we're still getting four with tight volley. Uh, it's not great right now. All right, let's um let's do this first. Okay, that was not great actually. <laughs> um so we have 4 here. All right, let's we'll, we'll do 4. I guess 4 is the best we can hope for. Um we have two action points left. Let's try and kill this guy. And this guy's got 160 health. Another power strike should take him out. Yes. Perfect. Um, now things, we still have two action points with this lad, so we might want to prioritize people who are getting kind of too close for comfort. Um, we can do another fireball, which is 104 to 162. That would maybe take out this blocker. I guess the blocker is, might, might be what, uh, is creating the problem might want to just prioritize these guys over here because they're getting kind of close to the wall but i don't know if i can kill those guys we could do one night 94 to 147 that would not take them out no matter what so we'll have to do a fireball if we want to kill those lads if we want any chance of doing it uh, and it still didn't do it Fortunately, we still have a shadow bolt so we can kill I, I, I noticed that fireball went through their armor. That's kind of nice All right uh, Things are not looking good. I will say all right, so let's uh Let's carry on um, Move over and see if we can't get as many people in our range as possible. So one two three four five six 
nice we didn't kill anyone so let's just go ahead and target the same ones and clean them up nice very good um and we can actually this guy um can bash for free his offhand will the offhand weapons will will get a free attack basically um we can transfer that does give me more damage i guess i could have done that first but that's that's whatever i think what we'll do we'll cheer now because i still have one action point left and um then we'll do our sort of democles who are we gonna hit though sure i don't know we'll just keep on this left flank over here wow that was not quite a kill that's that's the worst when that happens um all right let's get our hands dirty here we'll get, jump in and do a stomp and we'll go get closer and we can actually skip this lad although if we skip him i, I don't think we can fight into the fog This will hit quite a, a few lads and it will potentially stun some more. Yeah, that's good. Now, I would like to kill this lad. He's got a combined uh, 90, 100, 100 and so, like 101 health. So I should be able to kill him with a, sim a simple bash web attack and it did. And we will back up a bit. Things are okay over here. Things over here, not so good. Oh, I didn't mean... I didn't know you could, like, speed things up a bit. Okay. So we'll end the turn. We'll see how things develop. Oh, we're taking attacks now over here. Okay, let's, uh, let's focus on this over here first. So what's the best we can do with our rain of arrows rain of arrows is okay let's uh we'll do our uh, our usual weakening touch first that was good that was a really really good one and i'm just gonna hit, throw out a light in you. i i feel like some of these um stragglers need to be taken care of i'm not sure if this is the, if stormy is the one that um has the perk to do damage against people who are isolated Regulation, mana growth, energized. Um, I don't even know how to look for something like that. I guess it would be in here. Isolation, 100%. So it's not. Uh, is it this lad? Propagation damage. Wait, she's got propagation damage? And she's got isolation damage. So she's the one that should be doing damage against stragglers. So I, if I can do like power shots against like, yeah, that didn't kill him, unfortunately, but stuff like, you know, foes like that need to be taken out by her. Um, I feel like th there's just no way we shouldn't be getting at least five, if not six with the rain of arrows. This is okay. I definitely feel like we could do better though. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not seeing it. All right, that wasn't bad. We'll do a tight volley. Tight volley over there is pretty good. Actually, a fireball there would have been really good. We can do a fireball. Let's, uh... I don't have line of sight there. Why don't I have line of sight there? Oh, it's because this guy is a blocker. Um, well, maybe we shouldn't be focusing on that. We only have one point left and i have like these crawlers over here so let's like run over and do some damage on him he's got da dodge 1.5 ugh all right fortunately we did hit him but it didn't kill him and that's kind of the worst let's see if we can i think a shadow bolt actually won't do it we'll do a fire uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll do uh, a fireball, but just to try and do some damage on that other guy. And I don't know if they can dodge that. Wow, he's still alive. All right, we'll have to take him out with one more. 
he's still alive he took like three spells and a power shot okay so this over here is a really bad now uh officially okay so we'll focus on some of the shield bearers i don't know if there are many of them oh we need to back up actually Um, can I undo that? Yes. Uh, I think like here would be good. Cool. All right. Shield bear, shield bear. Uh, and I guess just some random guys would be fine. Ah, oh, we did kill someone. That's the worst. Um... Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer um, action and move points. We'll, we'll give uh, just some action points. And what that's going to do is actually give me more damage. And I guess we will cheer her as well. She's going to do quite a lot this turn. And then we're going to do a magic missiles and try and take out the shield bears. We'll focus the shield bears for now. And I guess actually I'll kill this guy here because then Jess can get like really in there. Yar! All right, now Jess. Jess has got every buff known to man right now. And she's got the full AoE. Um, that wasn't as good as actually as I was hoping. I'll be honest. We can do a crush. Can we do a, a good crush? We can do a pretty good crush. That wasn't enough. Um, I'd like to do it. We'll do another stomp. I'm going to not worry about these winged guys for now. And actually, we are pretty good. <clears throat> We're still okay over here. This this over here is awful. I'm I'm very worried about what's about to happen over there. Where's there? Okay, we do have to, this guy is like really in there. Actually, he should probably back up back up to where I don't know We'll we'll get them close together Miss that's good Okay, we are now um, getting panic kind of want to do a tight volley i feel like i should no longer waste um action points on undoing this weakening touch it's a nice idea but i don't know if it's actually doing all that much for me so let's uh throw out some like random damage oh need line of sight okay that was good that was actually really good um we can't do two of those unfortunately Wish that we could. Okay, we need to kill some stragglers. So I'm gonna try and oh, this guy's out of range. All right, because I need. To, <laughs> uh these shield bears are are also still a problem. It's like. Um, we have just kind of like the worst setup over here because they're not bunched up at all and maybe that's my fault because I Maybe I should have looked at the mine carts over here and saw that they were gonna split people up a little bit um, Can we get a good rain of arrows It's not awful, but I just feel like it's not worth it guy's got 45 health let's just take out a couple stragglers this guy he did not die we have two action points left so we can't we have no more of those um 
guy's got 170. We'll, we'll throw a power shot on him. Like, okay, and he didn't die. Oh, God. Things are not good. Um. Okay, well, we haven't used up all this guy's abilities, so he can do some stuff. Why don't we start with a fireball, and then we'll use our last two points to kill some st more stragglers. Wow. Dang. <laughs> um. Okay, well, that's fine. Hopefully we can kill a couple of these guys. Miss! Yo, we can't afford to be missing right now. We cannot afford to be missing. All right, same business over here. We're going to use magic missile to kill a couple of these guys. Um, I don't know if like, okay, like we can, I guess we still need to focus on those shield bears. The shield bears just have a lot of health and they're almost guaranteed that they won't die from uh, Rigoberto's attack. Um, oh, don't have line of sight. Okay, uh, sure. Don't kill, don't kill. Nice. Um, now we're going to cheer Jess and transfer her because we'll get some more damage for our second magic missile. Not that we need it. And we can also do a bash. Let's do a bash. Didn't kill, but that's okay. I mean, it's it's not, but whatever. It's it's fine. We'll kill a couple stragglers on their way over there. We just need to make sure we have, like... I think at least enough for one stomp would be really good. So let's kill this lad. And I guess we could kill one more lad. She gets a benefit, I think. She gets more movement points if I make kills. So then she's going to come over here and she's going to do a stomp. Which is good. Hopefully it stuns a few people. Yeah, I'm on a roll. We're on a rampage. This over here is still pretty good. Like, things over here are actually not bad. I... I, I really... Um, I'm feeling pretty bad over here. Oh god, that's a lot of damage. Uh might want to forego some of our benefits. I don't know, like let's let's try. Let's see if we have enough things to attack. I don't think so. I think everything's kind of damaged over here. Which is fine. Like that's a good place to be. So we'll start with that one, that one. That one, that one. Pretty sure this guy's going to need at least two. Yeah, because of course one missed. And then we'll do another magic missile. Sure. Oh, I didn't do, I didn't do my cheer and transfer. Shoot. Well, we can go over here and bash this guy dead. Yes. And I will do a transfer. It's worth it because um, it, it, it's, it's just worth it. I think it's worth it. Giving her just some more um, uh, action points is good. More movement points is good. We'll do one more here. And then we should be able to wipe out the rest with a bash. Sorry, not a bash. Wow, she missed one? Okay. Okay. Now, this, this is over here. My god. Uh, I'm going to have to reprioritize how I handle these two characters in the future. So we're going to move him here. I think that we can do some nice stuff with the Reign of Arrows here, maybe? God, the Reign of Arrows is just really not doing well. It's just really not hitting. Hitting right. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. God, uh, I actually kind of want to do a tight volley here. 
but I don't know. Like, again, I'm like, I should really just like try and make the most out of it. What we could do is we could do a quick reload. I haven't done that yet. And do another uh, tight volley here. Uh, I really can't afford to be missing, but that's fine. Um, our lad here is in grave danger. Now, um, I'm wondering if maybe we want to throw out some fireballs for him. Just to, like, get him... Oh, wow, he his range is awful. Okay, let's back him up so that he can hit this guy. Great. Nice. You know what? Let's do a fireball here. It, it will do avoid him. <sighs> this guy really sucks, actually. So he's going to die. There's no question about it. There's no question in my mind that he is going to die. So we can <laughs> jump over stuff. Um... Back and backing up, backing up, backing up. This guy, I, I, I'm sorry, Stormy. Sorry, you, uh, you paid the ultimate price. Why do I feel so cold? It's because you're dead. <sighs> yeah. And I won't say that things have really improved much. Can we do this? It seems like a pretty good rain of arrows. Um, well, I guess that was a good rain of arrows. <laughs> Tight volley here. That's not bad. I think I need to, well, we'll have to buy another hero. Maybe assuming we my dude you cannot afford to miss that is not really uh optional <laughs> i guess we, what we can do is like i'm gonna ha move start moving over because that's like we're at that point now hopefully our lad does not take too much damage It's a good thing I built all those defenses over there. We're, it's going to take us at least two more turns to get over there. Okay. Um, let's see. Can we take out a couple of these guys? Okay, that's not bad. Um, we could do another... Let's do a Reign of Arrows. This, uh, I was thinking... I get... Oh man, Reign of Arrows sucks. <laughs> what about a Tight Volley? A Tight Volley sort of works, but no, not really. I don't know why I don't have, like, vision of that spot specifically. Um... Wondering if like a tight volley here wouldn't be a bad idea or even a rain of arrows I mean a rain of arrows will work there, but again rain of arrows is like Doing this thing. Let's undo that movement actually and uh, move over here instead Let's See if we yeah, that's a bit better All right, let's we'll do that too easy well i mean i really wouldn't be gloating when uh your side of the city is on fire and now there's officially holes in the wall okay let's take this guy out nice um do a tight volley can we do a tight volley somewhere useful doesn't look like it no, it's not looking like it. Can we get like r close 
and do some power shots on these guys I think those uh, I think those um, Shield people do more damage From a tactical standpoint than they look like they they are worth um, Prioritizing Wonder if a rain of arrows would be good here Wow, it's just like never it's like it's seriously never these uh, for these little past few turns Okay, can we get close enough to do some stuff with our our mage magic missiles maybe yes Wow, uh, we actually get to oh I'm out of, I'm out of mana my god we are out of mana that's okay we can get some kills at the very least uh jess is gonna need more time to make it over there um they're gonna get inside they're gonna get inside and they're gonna start doing some damage I guess they're focusing on the walls, which is actually a really good thing for me. Um, all right, let's let's focus on some stuff. First of all, let's get over here. Can we target that guy? Yeah. Can we kill this guy? Yes. Kill that guy. Nice. Um, kill that guy. Nope. Miss. We'll do... Uh, I guess I'll just hit him some, with some normal stuff. Yeah. And I guess... I'll, I'll see if I can... No, I can't transfer. Ah, can he move over a little bit? Yes, he can. Okay, let's uh, give him a transfer and then he can actually do some more stuff. Why? Oh, I used up all my stuff. Oh, I guess I transfer was actually a really bad idea. <laughs> okay. That's fine. We should be able to kill these guys. Actually, no, because I can't move. I, mo I used all my movement with Rigoberto. Wow, that's bad. So there's one dude is going to get one more turn to do some damage. And he actually managed to destroy something that's going to reflect really badly on my panic. Oh, man. Oh, that sucked. Oh, God. Stormy is dead. Yeah, B. I, I don't I don't uh, I do not question that B for even a moment. Wait, did you get some panic? Did we get enough for an item, though? We did get quite a lot of essence. It was tough, but we made it. They are coming in from all three sides. Okay, well, let's first level up. All right, Jess, what could you use? You could probably use some resistance, huh? Actually, move points wouldn't be terrible. Kind of want to reroll these. Let's reroll them. Block is fine. Damage is good. Um, health received. I don't know if that's going to do much for us. Poison damage is interesting. I, I don't understand how this works. I have to assume that if it's offering us a poison damage that maybe it would start giving us poison damage. But I really don't know. I don't think that makes sense to me. Um, I think honestly, reliability... Is, is good all right perks we got all our um obvious perks um thirsty every eight action points spent spent the next mana consuming skill gets mana cost uh divided by half rounded down and uh, that's not great for her plus six mana increased by three for each level of the hero well she used their bash like every turn and didn't twice 
sometimes and it didn't actually get through all of our mana so i don't think that's great for her as long as a hero uh didn't move during this turn more skill range nah less reliability plus skill range nope nope avid learner is a trap plus one trinket equipment slot max two for each trinket equipped no not not all the oh wait as long as there is no other hero within a range of five plus eight percent damage as long as it you know what this might not be bad for her um at least with this like i don't have to i understand that i i, I said i didn't want to have to like galaxy brain the game or anything like that but at least with this it's like i can treat it like a passive benefit and she generally is on her own anyway I think I can at least make five work. So we'll we'll try that. Next up is Alicia. Let's uh, so put every seven mana spent restore one health. Or just is that restore one action point? Okay. Uh, probably that's just like the obvious take for her. So sure. That's just like extra action points occasionally. More health would actually be good. Doesn't she, isn't she the one with perks that give her more mana for health? Um, every seven mana spent, every 10% of missing mana, she does more critical. So no, she doesn't have anything that combos with health. Extra mana would be good. Kind of want to just, you know what, damage. I, I, I could re-roll and try and get a better rare, but I think damage would be fine. She's got enough health. I think, I think she's got a good amount of health. Daily mana regen isn't bad. Um, this is Alicia, and Alicia does is our ranger. Isolation wouldn't be bad. Kind of want to re-roll these. Multiplier. Temporary effects hindering the effect. Uh, nah. I mean, maybe opportunism wouldn't be terrible because we do have a lot of, um, we have some combos with that, but then I have to kind of like puzzle things out on that. I think just like, I think reroll these, honestly. Daily health regen is okay. Critical power is nice for her, maybe? Wild to me, I mean, this is our, um, this is a ranger and I've taken primarily mana stuff. Allowing to debuff the target's dodge. Does it use, do we have to like use it? Less skill range, more accuracy, more reliability. Kind of like that actually. I kind of want to re-roll these again. I guess she actually does make use of critical damage, so sure. Critical power. It's not great. I won't lie. It's not It's not fantastic. And now Rigoberto, last one. Every seven mana spent, restore some uh, uh, an action point. Yeah, that seems like the obvious take for him for sure and um extra mana might be good we actually did use up all his mana in the last one extra armor isn't a bad idea either let's take that actually we only barely got through his mana opportunism isn't bad does he have perks that give him crit extra damage multi hits less damage no uh i'm gonna re-roll these Reliability. Yeah, that would be good. Actually, reliability might be bad because I actually benefit from him doing less damage in some ways. Isolation might be nice. I kind of like really kind of feel like giving him less opportunity for damage is a good idea. I'll give him reliability, but I, I feel like that's maybe a mistake. Okay, let's get our item. Extra short bow. Um, let's compare with Alicia. Uh, this does a lot more damage. That's really good. Opportunism is fine. 
Offhand hammer plus one. Yeah, this this short bow is very good for Alicia. And let's give it to her right away so that I don't forget. Oh, we have all these other items now. Because um Stormy died, and yeah, they're 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 permanently dead. Um so let's get uh spend our tainted now. Will you sell your tainted essence to me, dear? Yeah, sure. Uh, we have enough to increase our um, omens damage. Uh, heroes have plus three daily health regen and plus one daily mana. A new structure can be built. The scavengers camp. Yeah, I looked at that. That one's okay. Kind of like this armor. But then there's like a lot of extra weapons that I have not been looking at. Uh, let's let's go with armor. I, I think that that is like a just like going to be a good get uh, And I'll get scavengers camp. I don't necessarily think it's gonna be useful. Although uh, we did did just lo lose a lot of walls So that might be a good thing Rejoice O earth and sea for I have come with gifts in hand. Why are you helping me? Why does the sun help flowers to bloom? Why does the mother feed the child in her womb? This is my destiny. This is thy doom. Receive my blessings for thy wondrous accomplishments. <coughs> Cough. Okay, um, we got more short bow variants. And that's about it. That is it. Uh, new omen to diversify your strengths. Use 12 workers to scavenge ruins and corpses and over a pro single production phase. Heroes can start with better weapon variation equipped. Requirements. Buy or craft 100 weapons. Oof. Requirements on that is pretty beef. Okay. Um, now we should build some structures. Uh, let's start by throwing some workers at uh this mana well restore 12 mana to get to target hero we're definitely going to want to throw that at a rigoberto he's going to need far more mana than that we might need to build a second mana well at this point uh restore 12 mana to all heroes grant plus 10 max mana to the target hero and we'll give that to rigoberto again he double benefits from that because i'm pretty sure that combos with his damage perk uh let's also recover everyone's health although i don't think that that's a big deal oh is everyone at max health crazy um grant plus 32 max health to target hero so what are we looking at here this one uh is 360 206 so we could definitely stand to give Rigoberto some extra health. I know there's other there's arguments for giving it to someone else, but I think that uh, we'll just do that for now. Um, we do have some money to spend, but I'd like to get some more money. You instantly generate 40 gold. If we upgrade the mine, it will require less workers. 20, so we'll basically, it'll pay for itself. And we'll use one less worker. If we do use this per production phase, upgrades the mine. How does this work? Because I thought that. Oh, I see. Uses per production phase is goes from one to two, so we can use it twice per production phase. I'm pretty sure that will pay for itself as well. So let's do that. So we get, um, we pretty much get all the money we spent back, but we spent two workers, which is fine. Um, we could build another one of those, by the way. Uh, so what next? We could build some new structures. We could build another gold mine. Mana well. We probably want to build another mana well. Let's do that. It's not super expensive. There's a good spot over there for it, too. And um, I'm going to improve its benediction. 
and give some uh, mana to Rigoberto. And I'm just going to go ahead and give everyone some mana back. And that is good enough. We don't have to spend more than that. I think what we'll do now is I'm going to have to look at another um, hero. Because, like, I don't think I can do this with less. What do you mean, mage? Some mages felt guilty. Felt guilty. Provided there is room around the magic circle, recruiting a new mage will restore a portion of the circle's health. Oh, interesting. I assume that's if it's this, you know, the monsters have gotten inside and done some damage. We could uh, recruit at least... Oh, this guy's uh, got the same business as Rigoberto. At least I know how he works. Uh, then we have a sword user. They're trained... Claustrophobic. No helmet. But they gain plus seven mana. Um, short circuit, less mana. So that means... That, and they're another melee user. Tactician, opportunism, and isolation. Less damage. That's actually awful. Warrior. Plus damage, plus resistance. Plus critical dam uh, power. Less bag slots. Might be good, actually. They are a sword user, however. And then Xena. Warrior princess. Um, poison damage. Daily health regen. Less health. More critical. Less mana. But they're a ranged user. Uh, Salem is brainy, more magic damage, less critical, more move points, less daily health regen. I kind of like him, so let's grab him. Uh, alright. I think we might actually need another hero. I don't think we can do this with four, especially when one of them is like, like, I know you get to level them up. Um, and we're gonna have to do that. Two levels. Wait, what, what level is he? He's only level three? Oh, no. Rigoberto is level six. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna have to buy another hero for sure. Uh, kind of don't hate the swords user, the sword, sword user. Sure. Wait, there's no room for additional heroes at the inn. Oh, we can only have four? Can we upgrade the inn? No, we can't? Oh, no. Uh-oh. Okay, well, in that case, we're going to have to buy some, some good stuff. Um, resistance gives us the turtle stance. Um, ooh. Offhand hammer plus four. I would like to get a better hammer for Jess. I think she's been using... Actually, she's she's got a pretty good hammer. Never mind. It's okay. One hand melee weapon rare. Oops, I moved her. Uh, not that it matters. I really wish it was less easy to do that. Um, warp crystal. Daily mana regen plus eight mana. Less move points. Gives... Offers teleportation so that... Um, can that teleportation be used on other heroes, though? kind of wish... I, I kind of think that getting some better armor might be a good idea. We do have some armor. I'm going to sell this book. And the short bow. And yeah, I guess I'll sell some of this other stuff. I th think I'll sell the lucky turtle charm, because I don't think anyone's got propagation. Um, I don't think that this offhand hammer is worth it. The only one who can use it... I actually, you know what? Never mind. The only one who can use it is are the mage users, and we have two of those now. Um, compare gear. Let's compare with Salem, because this might be a better wand. It is a better wand for them. Yeah, let's get them not a novice wand. Um, this is going to offer them some... Extra dodge, extra armor, 
no not a no bonus move points but um i think that that's gonna be a good piece of armor for them and then maybe we get give them one more thing this gives us gives them mana and teleportation it's not a terrible idea potion of stability fireball scroll plus four i assume this is used up once it's used Uh, this gives a resistance and extra poison damage. I don't know when I'm gonna see poison damage. Yeah, honestly, just give them better pants. And they don't have a helmet. And that's that'll do it. Okay, so Salem, we're gonna have to level them up. This is a, a lot of time that we gotta spend doing this because we gotta. I think we. I think this is the the this, this next combat is the last one, so we can't really afford not to spend a little bit of time. Can we give him? Oh, we can't put a, a novice one in his offhand. That would be just far too badass. That would be way too cool. Um, I unfortunately don't think we can put anything in his offhand. Yeah. Too bad we can't buy one of our old weapons like the offhand. We had an offhand hammer once upon a time, a long time ago. Okay, so Salem, what can we gi give you? We can give you some more mana. We can give you some more damage. Let's reroll these. Um... Accuracy. Apply to the dodge of targeted enemies. That could be good. More resistance might be nice too. Uh, we'll take accuracy, sure. Um, the reason I'm re-rolling them is because I, I want better stats. Like, yeah, okay, rare mana. I have to assume that that is a very sizable upgrade. Stun chance might be nice. It only affects skills with the stun chance. Like, for instance, yeah, I, I feel like it shouldn't offer um, attributes. I guess the thing is, is that like I could turn this person into a ranged user, right? So every user is an, a potential any user. Um, but being offered ranged on a character that is using uh, magic damage is, is kind of silly. Um, skill range. Magic damage. Okay, um, we'll take skill range. That seems okay. Opportunism is whatever. We'll Reroll these again. Experience gain. Isolation. We'll take isolation because at the very least they, he could be effective at attacking stragglers. Now we do perks. A six mana. Um, might just go with all the mana ones, but we can have a look at some of the others. Cheer is a good skill. But I don't know if I can really afford to take anything else. Because he's only going to get two perks. So he may as well take the magic perks. Okay, um, we can't build anything, right? Yeah, we have no money. Um, well, we can, but the thing is that we don't have any money right now, but we have workers left. Hold on. Buildings with free actions. Well, I mean, yeah, we have... Okay, well, that's fine. Um... workers assign them to buildings there's only one that we could assign them to but the thing is we could also um dig up some of these corpses oh there's a large corpse there we go and we could get a little bit more gold and materials 
You never know. It might it might make the difference. And we have one more worker, so we may as well have them dig up some kind of corpse. Okay, do we have enough to build a mine? We actually do. Incredible. I don't think that that'll necessarily come in handy, but you never know. Okay, um, build new defenses. We definitely want to do that. Can we just repair everything? Repair defenses. Okay. Doesn't it does not uh, repair defenses that were destroyed. So we're going to have to rebuild those. Um, wish you could replace some walls with wooden gate. But that's fine. We will... Uh, I'll do what I've been doing over here and just kind of do every other... Like, I'll, I'll bolster some of these walls with extra walls. And just, you know, it, it's, a, it's kind of a gambit, right? Is you're hoping that, like, those are the ones that are destroyed. Um, and then it takes them an extra turn to kind of get through them. I do know we get some, like, extra defense uh, buildings and stuff in the uh, future towns and stuff like we get ballistas and, and cool stuff um so that's i'm looking forward to that now um i'm gonna probably want to have we'll have uh heroes stationed in at corners so salem could be at like a corner because he's a ranged user jess will be Jess will be right here because this is where she's going to be needed the most Alicia is no longer... I no longer have faith that she is capable of taking on a whole wave on her own. But I definitely don't have faith in Salem. So we'll put Alicia and... Uh, and Salem on this corner. And then R Rigoberto will be on this corner. And then hopefully he has enough chops to take on a wave like that on his own. But I don't know probably we're not going to be able to like um defend these walls perfectly that's fine i don't expect to necessarily all right um that's gonna do it for this episode and we'll take on the next wave in the next episode uh i hope you're enjoying the series if you are definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this and i'll see you guys next time take it easy